In this video, we'll be taking a look at shape tweens in Adobe Animate. Shape tweens are a type of tween that animate either a line or a fill. We'll start with animating a line in Flash to learn the basics. I use shape tweens for animating smiley puss, specifically on the antennae, tentacles, the skirt on the helmet, and the jet trail. It helps me to create a very smooth motion on these parts of the characters, when regular symbols wouldn't work as well. Start by opening a new file in Animate. It's best to keep the animation as simple as possible when using shape tweens. Each line or fill should be animated on its own layer. Select the timeline and extend the timeline by hitting F5. Double click on the layer and name the layer. Draw a line on frame 1 with either the line tool or the paintbrush tool. You can use onion skin to see where your previous keys were. Select another keyframe, press F7, and draw another line. Now make another keyframe down the timeline and draw another line. Select some frames in between your keys, right click, and select Create Shape Tween. The frames that are shape tweened are colored green. You can click on the green line and adjust the timing in the Properties panel just as you would with a motion tween. Sometimes shape tweens will have issues with tweening correctly. Animate may have trouble tracking which end of the line is which. When this happens, we can fix this by adding shape hints to it. Shape hints help animate keep track of the line or fill. Select the first key, then press Ctrl Shift H twice. This will give you two shape hints, one for each end of the line. If you have added too many shape hints by accident, you can remove them by right clicking on one and selecting Remove Shape Hint. If you can't see your shape hints after adding them, select the keyframe and then hit Control alt i to toggle View Shape Hints. You can also select it in the menu when you right-click on the shape hint. Select the magnet icon under the color selector on the tool panel to turn on Snap to Objects. Add the shape hints to the line for the first two keys. Make sure you keep them consistent with which end of the line you place them on. Now test the line to see if it's working correctly. Go to the start of the timeline and hit enter. You may see that the first set of keys are working better, but the second isn't. Go to the middle keyframe, select the keyframe, press Ctrl Shift H twice, and place the shape hints, keeping them consistent with your last set. Now select the last keyframe and place the last two shape hints. Go back to the start of the timeline and play it again. This should have fixed the issues, but if it didn't, there's a few things you can try. The line is mostly working, but you want to adjust the way the line is moving, you can add a keyframe by pressing F6. Select the line and hit the straighten button a few times. Turn on your onion skin and adjust the line to where you want it. Reattach your shape hints. You may need to add new shape hints to the new keys. Add a keyframe by pressing F6. And this is what it should look like when it's done. Now for some troubleshooting. If you have an issue where a line disappears completely, try selecting the keyframe, select the line, and then hit the straighten button a few times. Then drag it back into the curve or shape it used to be in. Do this for more than one keyframe if you need to. If your action is very complex, it may require planning it in more detail with more keyframe drawings. For something that isn't moving very much, draw the first key, then try copying that key to use as a second key. Make the changes to the copy and tween them. 
This tends to cut down on errors. That's it for the introduction to shape tweens. I'll be talking about using them in more complex situations in the future. If you have any comments, questions, or tutorial requests, please let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.